Hello citizens of the internet. In this part 2 of my e-lecture on adolescent pregnancy, I will take a deep dive into the management of a pregnant adolescent girl. I would urge you to watch part 1 before seeing this part. The link is given below. When a teenage pregnant girl comes to the clinic, she has three choices. Termination of pregnancy if legally possible. If this is not possible, for example, pregnancy after 20 or 24 weeks, she has to continue the pregnancy. After delivery, she can give the child for adoption if she so desires. A few adolescent mothers may wish to keep the child and raise it with the help of her parents. These choices are not easy but the consequences can be life-changing. Antenatal management of adolescent pregnancy is as follows. First of all, take a detailed history. Interview the girl as well as her parents or boyfriend. Try to find out how and why the pregnancy occurred. Was it a rape? Was it incest? Was it ignorance or just casual adolescent sex? Was it because of failure of contraceptives? Was it because of false promise of marriage? Inquire about previous attempts to terminate her pregnancy. Further management depends on the answers given to these questions. Next, perform a detailed examination of the patient in the clinic. On general examination, look for signs of anemia, ascertain her true age, ascertain her skeletal development, assess girl's mental status. This may require referral to a specialist. On pelvic examination, confirm the pregnancy size. Rule out contracted pelvis and sexually transmitted diseases. Further treatment depends on the gestational age at which the patient comes for help. If the patient comes before 20 weeks, she has following options. She may wish to terminate her pregnancy or she may wish to keep her child or at times one may motivate her to marry if she is greater than 18 or 21 years of age, which is the legal age of marriage. On the other hand, if the patient comes late, that is after 20 or 24 weeks, the gestational age after which termination of pregnancy is not allowed in India, pregnancy has to be continued. In the following slides, I will discuss the management of such a patient. Hospitalize the girl on social grounds. Give her regular antenatal care in the hospital. Give iron, vitamin and calcium supplementations. Especially do aggressive prophylaxis for iron deficiency anemia. Look out for obstetric complications like gestational hypertension, preeclampsia which they are more prone to. Perform ultrasonography to assess exact gestation age as very often these girls are not sure of their exact last normal menstrual period. Assess her pelvis after 37 weeks of gestation to rule out contracted pelvis. While she is admitted in the hospital till delivery, she will require various referrals. First and the most important referral is to the medical social worker. This is done to know whether the patient can marry a partner, to know whether the patient wants to give up her baby for adoption and if she does want to give the baby for adoption to make necessary arrangements for adoption. She should be referred to a psychiatrist or psychologist for treatment of depression and or anxiety, to treat suicidal or homicidal tendencies if any, to assess the patient's mental state and to assess the patient's intelligent quotient and social quotient. She should also be referred to the family planning clinic in the hospital to give her family planning education, especially with reference to use of contraceptives and sex education. She should be referred to the occupational therapy department of the hospital, where patients should be taught occupational therapy so that she can support herself and her child if she decides to keep it later on. While she is staying for months in the hospital, she can visit the occupational therapy department many times to learn how to make baskets or other useful items which she can later make herself and sell them to earn some money. The management of these adolescent girls 
in labor is as follows at term do a clinical and x-ray pelvimetry to rule out contracted pelvis spontaneous labor is avoided vaginal delivery is preferred to avoid scar of cesarean delivery however if she has moderate to severe contracted pelvis elective cesarean delivery can be done avoid destructive operations on humanitarian grounds if cesarean delivery is done educate the patient to have next delivery in the hospital as far as conduct of vaginal delivery goes first and second stage are managed as usual episiotomy may be given if required if she wants to give up her baby for adoption after delivery do not show the baby to the mother as she may develop a bond with the baby baby may be shown to relatives breastfeeding is usually avoided baby is given other mothers expressed breast milk or top feeds lactation in the mother is suppressed using tablets which i will talk about in the next slide suppression of lactation can be done by one of the following methods the most preferred way to stop lactation is use of drugs like tablet bromoergotriptine 2.5 mg per day for 10 days or tablet cabergolin 1 mg two tablets of 0.5 mg on the first day after delivery cabergolin is the most preferred method to stop lactation suppression of lactation without hormones can be done by use of tablet pyridoxin 10 mg two tablets three times a day general measures that help reduce and ultimately stop milk production are use of a tight bra less fluid intake and applying cold compresses to the breast and avoiding handling of breast or expression of milk in the past hormonal methods like giving injection clinistrol one ampule intramuscularly 8 hourly for 3 doses or mixogen one tablet 3 times a day for 5 days were used but they are now obsolete because of their side effects the baby must be examined thoroughly by the neonatologist to rule out abnormalities and to certify that the baby is fit for adoption newborns have problems like problems of cradle care poor thermoregulation nutritional problems due to artificial feeds and infection the mother should be referred to the medical social worker after delivery for adoption process and even to the police regarding adoption before discharging the patient counsel her regarding sex education contraception personal health behavior next pregnancy specially measures to avoid it occupation therapy social rehabilitation of the patient as regards education job possibilities and marriage must also be considered counseling of parents must also be done to find out if there is any marital discord which can be resolved with professional help in the end i will talk about prevention of teenage pregnancy schools social workers and healthcare professionals such as obstetricians and gynecologists should have open honest and educational talks with teenagers and their parents they can also provide advice to teenagers about how to prevent unwanted teenage pregnancies educating them about contraception and making contraceptives available will also go a long way in preventing teenage pregnancy government should also plan to have sex and relationship education compulsory at both primary and secondary school levels community based and college linked clinics can reduce pregnancy rates lastly liberal medical termination of pregnancy laws such as the one we have in india and making safe abortion easily accessible can also play an important role in reducing the burning social issue of teenage pregnancy and its impact on demographic of the country this brings me to the end of part 2 of my e lecture on adolescent pregnancy if you want to know more about this topic or any other topic in obstetrics and gynecology please refer to my books modern gynecology modern obstetrics and practical obstetrics and gynecology and other books 
the links are given below they are available on amazon.in for purchase inquiries contact me on this whatsapp number also please like comment and share this channel and my other channel modern obgyn i have also published two question answer books which are particularly useful for exam going students these are clinical cases in obstetrics 1000 plus questions and answers and clinical cases in gynecology 1000 plus questions and answers these are also available on amazon.in you can also follow me on other social media platforms like facebook and instagram the links are given here if you enjoyed this video hit the like button share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you for watching